And this crash at the Alewife Station parking garage will impact Red Line riders all week long. Investigators say, as you can see here, a driver caused a lot of damage when he intentionally slammed into a wall at the garage. WBC's Katrina Kincaid shows us what commuters need to know now. Alewife Station is still closed today. The T says most likely that will be the case for the rest of the week as crews are actively repairing the damage from that car that crashed into the top floor of the garage here at the station. But in the meantime, shuttle buses are replacing service. What can I do? I mean, this is it. Make the best out of it. But that doesn't mean that the shuttles weren't a burden for some people going to work. Annoyed. Trying to get to work. The MBTA says a driver intentionally crashed into a concrete barrier on the top floor of the parking garage Saturday afternoon. You can still see the gap in the ceiling where the impact sent a 10,000 pound slab of concrete, glass, and debris into the station below. Crews were still repairing the damage this morning. I rely on the train every day, so having this is kind of like a delay for me. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to make it in time to my class. But um, it's actually nice that they have this, and it's convenient for us to use, and it's very easy. A young girl suffered minor injuries from the falling glass. The driver of the car was found unconscious. The incident was a lot to process for some frequent riders. While the garage at Alewife is still closed, MBTA suggests people find alternative places to park. But if your car is still in the garage, you can come and get it. They say that they will reopen it when they make a safe pathway from the garage to the busway. In Cambridge, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.